Hello guys, hello everyone. Welcome you all for this into in session where you're gonna learn uh, the AML uh, so from scratch and you're gonna build everything on top of it. So it's gonna be a year long program. Welcome you guys uh, once again for this a long program of AML where you're gonna learn everything that you guys need to uh, become a successful data scientist. Hope you guys are enjoying a lot. We have just completed nearly 30 plus sessions. So everything related to data is completed, I can say. OK, so yeah, we are enjoying every day. We are learning every day. Hope the same thing from you guys. So yeah, without wasting any time, we can jump directly into today's session. Guys, before going for today's session, actually, we have completed everything related to data. As I'm saying, everything related to data means like uh, we have just done nearly, uh, I think, 30 plus sessions where we have uh, learned about uh, what is data, where to collect the data, how to collect the data, what is a perfect source for collecting the data, and what are the pre-processing steps that we need to do, what is the need for pre-processing, and what are the stages in pre-processing we are having, and what are the ethics that we need to follow while data collection, and some some things like uh, uh, like how we can handle the data, and we have gone through some programming kind of thing, R programming, Python programming, and some uh, working with data, SQL, like those things we have done, okay? I will say everything related to data, as a level one is done okay now you guys need to have a proper understanding of what kind of data whatever kind of a data that is given to you you guys now ready to handle it okay i hope like uh, we have we have completed this step okay if you guys doesn't watch any of our previous video please make sure that you watched all the previous videos because like we have completed a part of a thing in data science okay so yeah uh, that was only thing before coming to the session please watch all the previous videos so that you can have a better understanding okay so from today, I think for the next, uh, I will say already like 40 plus days. So we're gonna dive into the world of machine learning. Okay. It's gonna be a theory session and the next session will be a practical session. So like that, it's gonna be theory and practical and coding and so on. Everything is gonna be there. Okay. So I'm very, very much interested in this thing. So yeah, hope the same thing from you all guys. So let's, let's start the session. Okay. So today we're going to introduce you to the concept of machine learning. Okay. Introduction to machine learning. Machine learning is a powerful tool for solving complex problems. It enables computers to learn from data and make prediction without explicitly program. The field has revolutionized various industries from healthcare to finance. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you, you guys going to see, okay. How, what is the magic that you guys is going to uh, do with the help of a machine learning? Okay. Uh, because machine learning is something like which makes the machine to think and act like a human. Okay. So uh, we are not exaggerating. Okay. We, we going to see, okay, what a machine learning models can do. Okay. We're going to learn different algorithms, how it is working. Uh, what is the backbone of it? Uh, we, we guys are going to uh, tell you what is the back box behind the every model. Okay. How it going to work because I hope, uh, I, I believe anyone in the world can just use the two lines of code to build the algorithm, but only a person who are learning data science, right? They know the back box behind that algorithm. Okay, that's the reason we are just here to help you all guys. So if you have any doubt, just ping in the comments. We are here to help you. Okay. So yeah, that's what all about the introduction to machine learning. Yes, sir. Over to you. Yes. So introduction to machine learning guys, before that, please go and watch all the sessions five to 10 times. And there is a logic why why we are saying five to ten times because there is a study by big universities, top universities that if you learn something and if you don't revise in 24 hours, 48 hours and like in a week's time, in a month's time. So we have two memories. One is short term, the other one is long term. So your concepts your theory, your practice, all these things should go into your long term memory. So minimum retention cycles are like five to 10 times if you are able to uh, revise and reinforce learning. So uh, you will remember these concepts for a lifetime. Okay, so Go watch all the sessions five to ten times. Do reinforce learning and absorb, digest, and apply. ADA uh, principle. So learn all these things. Give us feedback. Write in the comment section. What have you learned? How you're going to apply? What is your long-term objective function of your career? And uh, do all these things. Then come to this session. 
okay then it will help you okay so let us start machine learning so introduction to machine learning machine learning is a powerful tool to solve complex problems because we whatever problem is there that has created data and then we go and collect that data based on the problem data we uh, try to find solutions for that so always solution is in the problem so not the problem like you usually see solve these problems uh, in question paper not that actually the data of the problem has the solution because for that you have to do data science on it and when you do data science then what will happen then you will be able to do machine learning on it so now we are in a phase where we will be learning machine learning to solve complex problems through data okay so it enables computers to learn from data simple makes prediction without explicitly programming so that means we don't have to program we will build models model will learn continuously we have to like it it does learning itself and the, we don't have to do programming so the algorithm and model are built because they will learn itself that is why it is called machine learning otherwise it will be called as machine so once you make so you have seen machines machines are like there is a specific instructions you press the button it will do some task that's it right but here it's a machine learning plus is learning so it will learn adopt change and make decisions based it will learn from data and experience or experience okay so the field has revolutionized various industries for like health healthcare finance I'll say most of the industries today, uh, whether it is web development, whether it is text generation, NLP, deep learning, computer vision, lot of industries, self-driving cars have been uh, revolutionized by machine learning. Okay, because this is the stage, like this machine learning is a phase. Then whatever is done in machine learning that is uh, like that is deeply done in deep learning nothing else because the fundamental concepts of deep learning are in machine learning okay because there we go 100 layer deeper to train the model here we'll be doing lesser that is the only difference so you will see word like machine learning it changes to deep learning deep learning means it will go deeper 100 layer 200 layer okay billions of data sets that level and will do cross permutation combination and find insights and hidden patterns and make decisions very fast so that is what is called that is the only difference in machine learning data is the input right data as per the objective function as per the problem statement and from the data from right source with ethics okay it's here if you see in here it's not only data it is right data as per objective function and from the right source which is ethically right with guidelines and principles and that data makes the right predictions without explicitly programming so we have to build that consciousness okay so this is all about machine learning so we'll go into deep into it so let's go to the other slide yes so yeah uh, we're gonna see what is definitions and key concepts in it okay that's the next thing so uh, so we have we have just seen these things okay in the previous session so that's the reason we are asking you guys to just go through the previous session Let's see what are the definitions and key concepts we are having. Okay, learning from data, machine learning algorithms are trained on a vast uh, volume of data to identify patterns and make prediction. Yeah. So whenever we are saying learning, right, it should have something like it should be learning. Okay, how we can learn? It should have some uh, historical data, right? 
so then only you can run without without data you cannot learn so learning from data means that is how uh, everything happens okay when we have a vast amount of historical data the machine going to learn from it based on its understanding now it going to predict whenever there is a future event occurs based on the historical data okay and one more thing guys this is a true thing machine learning or any ai model cannot do the magic it can do only what a historical data it is trained on okay M many of them have a myth like it going to do some kind of magic no not okay whatever the data we are feeding we are training it then it will act based on that only okay that's a magic then feature engineering i think you guys now i think it going to be 10 plus time and we going to explain that okay yeah feature engineering extracting relevant information from data is crucial for effective learning it involves transforming raw data into meaningful uh, features okay uh, you guys already know right feature engineering is adding some new um, features new columns based on the older uh, columns that we are having or older feature we are having in order to get the most relevant uh, data in order to predict the target value okay next model evaluation the performance of a machine learning model is accessed through metrics such as accuracy score uh, precision recall f1 score uh, area under curve these things are, we have already discussed guys during the data sessions data and data science sessions we have discussed everything so we are just giving a overview of it okay so yeah if you guys doesn't understand please make sure that you have watched all the previous videos so that you can have what is this accuracy is precision is recall is and i'm just mentioning some other things also right f1 score uh, area under curve like those things okay there are like evaluation metrics which is used to evaluate how the model is performing finally generalization a good, good machine learning model should be able to make accurate prediction on unseen data this is a major thing guys you need to okay i will i will put it in a simple manner you are training your model right you should not make your model to memorize everything or you should not make your model to without study okay or you should make your model to learn optimally okay low study high study is not required you need to make your model study optimally so that it can able to generalize everything and predict the unseen data properly okay so these are the findings uh, definitions and key concepts that we are having in the machine learning it learns from the data we do some feature engineering in order to make some most relevant data in order to find the target value once we are trying our model we need to evaluate our machine learning model using different metrics such as accuracy precision recall f1 like those things finally we need to have a model which is more generalized okay it should be able to optimally do training and optimally do the prediction so that it can predict the unseen data in a better manner okay hope you guys have understand this yes sir over to you yes guys so now let's go into definition okay what is machine learning and key concepts okay so learning from data guys i'll say learning from the data as per the problem statement as per the objective function what you want to achieve what problem you want to solve data from the right source with values and ethics so okay so this is upgraded definition for you guys so that you don't just say learning from any data means any data right so machine learning algorithms are trained on a vast amount of data identifying patterns in making predictions right so so we are going very little let's let's go one next one level deeper huh? and make uh, understand things properly so then feature engineering so I, we have given we have talked a lot about feature engineer and it's a powerful thing and we can talk a thousand times because it's a very deep stuff guys because ultimately feature engineering finds deeper patterns and insights from the data and creates new features that's why it is worth discussing feature engineering even thousand times extracting relevant information and there is the magic guys see magic is so raja was discussing that uh, that whatever ma uh, magic will not happen whatever you've trained the model on training you have done so there is the magic and it magic is actually in the 
defining problem properly getting it approved and collecting right data as per the problem statement and uh, using um, doing right pre-processing on it and then uh, finding right um, algorithms and models and then doing right training there is the magic so secret if you want to know secret that there is the secret and there is the magic when you do that properly magic will happen magic is definitely going to happen because of that okay so now extracting feature engineering extracting relevant information from data is crucial for effective learning see that is very important relevant information extracting relevant information from data guys if your problem statement is not clearly defined and you have not collected right relevant data for the problem statement what will feature engineering will do with the relevant information there is nothing understand pre-processing is super 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 job guys finding models do using this uh, library or that uh, tool is nothing i guys if you want to do magic with your data finding defining right problem defining right problem statement doing research for that then getting it approved getting right data and doing right pre-processing on it guys right i'm saying word right so emphasis is on right so then relevant uh, extracting relevant information from data which is crucial right relevant then it will be relevant guys see understand the deeper meaning if we talk relevant here then it should be relevant from the scratch you've ideated on the problem so it's relevant always so this involves transforming raw data into a meaningful features and that will be raw because it is not pre-processed okay so the, then feature engineering is going to help model evaluation the performance of the machine learning model is assessed through various metrics such as accuracy precision and recall this is a it's a it's a basic overview when you go for model evaluation these are the processes which we go through generalization model should generalize well okay good machine learning models should be able to make accurate predictions on unseen data that is what you you when you talk data science machine learning deep learning guys or any llms whatever it is always about this one line guys that is predicting on unseen data this is the actual essence of ai ml if your model is predicting on unseen data that is the magic but with all the steps previous steps with relevant data rel from relevant source with ethics with the right pre-processing and all so are you able to get are you are you getting the real essence of AIML? write in the comment section what bulb on or moment you got or the idea you got what it is it is predicting on unseen data guys nothing else is AIML or deep learning it's always predicting unseen data unseen which is not been evaluated by human beings because if we do that then why we need computers and compute power and billions of dollars so this is how machine learning deep learning or any model helps us in their own nlp will help in other text regeneration stuff but it's always about predicting on unseen data that is the key thing okay so so what is the target va variable okay so target variable is the feature of a data that you want to understand more clearly that is what is target variable okay so you need to understand that that 
target variable when we say target variable or we say target value that is the feature of data that you want to understand more clearly and if you see that is what is predicting on unseen data it is the other way of saying it that predicting on unseen data that is what is called target variable what we want to know what machine learning model wants to know okay let's move to the other slide yeah sure sir actually it's a perfect detailed uh, explanation for this definitions and key concept that's great sir. okay moving on let's see what we are having next yeah guys i i hope like if you guys have uh, watched our videos that this will be easier okay supervised learning guys uh what is supervised learning okay it's one of the type of machine learning so what is supervised learning we give the labeled data okay i will break the things in a manner okay we are having a mission okay consider a mission as a baby okay newborn baby okay we gonna train our mission using uh, our problem statement is we gonna train our mission with fruits okay we gonna train it to classify it's an apple it's a banana okay that's it now i'm having apple i'm gonna see them say the mission apple it's in red color and it is in a circle shape and it is apple okay i will give it to the mission now mission can grab it and then it it learns okay it is in a circle color and it is in sorry circle shape and it is in red color okay it is apple then i'm gonna throw banana to it and i'm gonna say it it is in yellow color and it is not in circle shape okay it is not in circle shape so now the machine gets it and checks it like okay it is in a yellow color and it is in not in a circle shape so it is banana so whenever a new data or unseen data thrown onto it it will just look into it okay if it is a circle shape and it is red color it will just create it as a target value of apple because we have trained in that manner if it is not a circle shape and it is yellow color it will give a classification as banana that's it guys we give the label and we will train the model labeling means we are just giving the name okay if it is red color and the size is uh, the shape is circle it is apple we are just giving label and then we are training okay we are giving label label means here apple and we are training with the features like what is the color and what is the shape that's it okay we give the labeled data okay that is what supervised learning okay we give label data to train our model it 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 has different types okay classification and regression classification categorize data into predefined classes for example classifies uh, male as a spam or not okay we are having males right whether it is a spam male or not okay now the same example apple or banana it's a classification problem regression it predicts the continuous value such as predicting the price of the house based on its features okay i will say the things okay how regression works means for example if you need to predict the price of the house what are the consideration you would be doing square feet okay and number of flows and then like where there is a garden or how much kilometer is near to the hospital petrol bag like those things you will be considered like these are the features based on the features we gonna predict the target value of price so that's what regression that comes under the supervised learning then label data this is what we are i'm just saying right supervised algorithm okay supervised learning algorithm requires label data where each data point has a known output or a target value okay this is what i'm just saying okay whenever you are having a proper uh, target value then it is called as a supervised learning i hope like guys just remember you need to give the label for your input data that's it uh, you just consider this example itself we need to train this is an apple with its feature this is a banana and this is the feature okay that is what supervised learning yes sir, over to you yeah so let us understand guys in supervised learning what is classification okay so classification is nothing so what will happen is it is categorizing data into predefined classes so if you see classes comes from like classes classification comes from classes okay we see i'll tell you i'll give you a basic example in school there are grades a b c d right so there are criteria who will be in a b c d that way all right 
So what they are doing is categorizing into different classes. And what is the objective? So that they can manage those classes or those grades into like there would be a sufficient teaching to them. You can't put everybody in the in one grade and then uh, one teacher will come and start teaching. No. So that is why this is one of the examples. You categorize those students into a predefined classes, right? Similarly, here you categorize data, any kind of data as per objective function, whatever you problem you want to solve, relevant data into a predefined classes. That is first part. Then for example, classifying email spam or not spam so here we use it for spam or and it is a categorical problem so whenever you find any problem data characteristics and whatever problem so you need to you need to get sense or intuition that whether it is a classification problem okay or it is something else or is it a regression problem right or it is some other problem so you need to understand that then regression so predicting continuous value which is na in nature we want to predict continuous value so then we go for for what we'll go for regression we'll not go for classification guys okay such as predicting the price of house based on its features okay so there when it is a continuous value suppose you are, you are predicting continuous value it by default it is a regression thing okay so i'll give another example i want to open up a restaurant or i have a restaurant suppose for example coffee restaurant i want to predict different prices which are optimal so that I'll be profitable and also customers don't feel burden buying cup of coffee. Once that is done, so I want to predict that. So I'll use regression for that. I'll not use classification. Yes. Okay. So this is how you will differentiate classification and regression. Okay. So label data. Label data is supervised learning where uh, algorithms are required require algorithms require label data they we uh, like it is a label data where each data point has known output and target value so what objective function you want to like what is your target value so it is already defined and it is in uh, data output and target you call it target value or you call it output it is one of the same thing right so it is already defined okay each data point is known and output or target valuable is already defined so that that is uh, that is what is labeled data right but it is used in supervised learning so it is used in supervised learning so these are the features of supervised learning i hope you understood and uh, yeah let's go to the other section yeah sir so moving on yeah then we are having unsupervised learning days okay yeah so what is unsupervised learning simple thing it has an unlabeled data okay so now i tell the same scenario the apple and uh, banana now i need to train the same model but with unlabeled data okay i will give the apple to the machine and machine will uh, just look into it and see okay um it, it just see these things only Okay, it is in red color and it is in circle shape. Okay, I will consider it as some data, some class, class E. And if I give banana, the machine will see it and okay, it is not in the circle shape and it is not in yellow color. It is in yellow color. Okay, it will move it to the class B. It doesn't know the name of the fruit, but it is able to classify it based on the features. Okay, it classify class A based on the feature of it is in a red color and it is in circle shape class b it is able to give based on the feature of it is in yellow color and it is in not in circle shape okay this is what unsupervised learning you doesn't know the name of it okay that is what unsupervised learning 
Okay, let's see what are the things that we are having unsupervised learning. Clustering, guys. Grouping data based on their similarity without prior knowledge of the classes. This is what the same thing that I have done, right? Uh, uh, because we are just classifying class A based on the shape as well as the uh, color. Class B, shape and color. This is what clustering. We are just clustering, creating a classes. Class A, class B, like that we are creating. Dimensionality reduction. Simplifying data by reducing the number of features while retaining essential information. Guys, I, I, I say this is a very, very important topic. We're going to learn coding concept dimensional reduction means i dimension to low dimension okay consider we are having a data set of nearly thousand plus columns to predict the target value do you guys think whether we need all the thousand plus columns to uh, to predict the target value no not all the time okay because if you do that means it will lead to model overfitting so from the thousand columns we will take only the important features or important columns which is able to predict the target value from thousand we just uh, just reduce it to 10 okay i'm just giving a random number reduce it to some value okay so what happens means your time you will avoid modern overfitting you will store the uh, store the space okay and you will store the competition also so in order to do these advantages in order to take these advantages we are having a function or we are having algorithm in unsupervised learning called as dimensional reduction next association rule okay discovering relationship and pattern between different variables in the data set guys there is a popular uh, example market basket analysis okay consider we are having a supermarket okay and a people and a person is going to the supermarket a person a goes and buy uh, milk and butter next person goes and buy milk and jam next person goes and buy milk and bread okay and the next person goes and buy a chocolate okay then what is the possibility of a person to buy the milk it is great right because everyone who visited the uh, shop has bought the milk okay this is what I, i'm just seeing, saying in a layman manner it is not like that consider it is a creation of recommendation system okay uh, in a traditional manner by using this association rule there are different topics available there is support something called a support confidence and then something called as a, uh, we will be having lift score like those things guys don't worry about it we will be learning very in depth okay consider if it is association rules we will be creating a recommendation system okay yeah finally unlabeled data unsupervised learning algorithm works with unlabeled data where the target values are unknown that's it okay we doesn't know what is the target value target name but we will work on it okay it will create a clusters and or it will reduce the dimension or it will create a, a recommendation system okay by using the association group. okay so these are the points that we are having in unsupervised learning guys yeah so yeah that's it uh, for unsupervised learning. yes over to you yeah so unsupervised learning is where is where you don't have label data okay and your output is not defined so here machine learning will do that kind of thing it will do clustering grouping data based on the uh, their similar similarities without prior knowledge of classes clustering is what it's again grouping classes right it will create it they have given different names but but they are same okay they are they the meaning is same okay just a minute guys yeah so then we have dimensionality reduction so simplifying data by reducing the number of features while training essential information retaining sorry retaining the essential information like dimension re reduction is that you don't have to you don't need other dimensions which are not required for your actual objective function like you need only the features which are required which retain the essential information rest are not required so this is how you will reduce competition you reduce space time and space time and com space time complexity ultimately it will come there and you will optimize the model properly so that is the main work of it because you will have lot of data in unsupervised learning guys 
billions or millions of data set so you are not going to take all the features and huh? then it will become a very it will become a mess i'll say so only the features which are essential so you will uh, others you reduce the dimensionality others you reduce simply so association rule learning is discovering relationship okay patterns between different variables in the data set so it's like associativeness associated relationship between different variables what is the relationship okay understanding that okay discovering that and uh, then we have unlabeled data which is unsupervised learning algorithm works with unlabeled data where the target values are unknown so it is completely opposite of supervised learning so this is how you'll remember so in supervised learning your input your output is already defined target value is defined and it is labeled data in in unsupervised data is not labeled and the target value is unknown this is the major difference with and uh, clustering is done on data which is not grouped okay Dish dimensionally reduction which reduces the features which are not required non -ess essential to for the model and associate association rule learning is discovering relationship between different uh, variables in the data set it's very simple okay so let's move to the other section yeah guys so yeah that's time sir so guys uh, this is what we are having for today uh, we will pass here okay we will continue the remaining things uh, in the next session so we have just introduced what is machine learning and some definitions in machine learning and what is supervised and unsupervised learning guys so make sure you guys uh, watch this video properly on all the previous session videos okay if you guys have any doubt just ping in the comments we are here to help you okay so yeah uh, we will all meet in the next session until then bye guys take care bye yeah guys uh go watch all the session five to ten times right in the comment section what have you learned what how you're going to apply what is your long-term objective function absorb the information digest the information and apply the information do all the assignments and subscribe to our channels also press the bell icon so that you will get notification for each session so keep uh, patience consistency persistency keep learning deeply and ask questions ask uh, you need any help write in the comment section thank you so much see you in other other section